Hello, I'm Chef Carol, and I have what I consider to be the most delicious blueberry muffin recipe. And sometimes you would say to yourself, well, if it's all good, why change it? But I'm always looking for another level of taste in my food products. Normally, I would make the muffins with fresh frozen blueberries. Today, I'm just going to use fresh blueberries, unfrozen. And for that next level of taste, I'm going to add in lemon. So my taste palette will have several layers of flavor when I bite into my blueberry muffin. Let's get to it. Before I begin this tutorial, I'm going to just take a minute and demo how to zest a lemon. This is called a microplane and it is great for many, many reasons. It can zest lemons, it can grate cheese, and do an abundance of things in the kitchen with garlic, other spices, nutmeg, allspice. So any whole spices that you might need to have ground, this is the tool to do it. Well, the first thing I've done is clean my lemon, of course. And so what I'm going to do is hold the lemon in the microplane and just very easily start to grate the top layer off. Now, if you notice, you can still see that it's yellow. So you never want to zest your lemon down to the white because the white part of the lemon is bitter. So as you go about this process, you just keep the lemon turning. Keep going to an area where you haven't zested. Making certain that you don't do it too heavily because you only want the top layer, which is our zest part. This recipe calls for the zest of one lemon, and then it will require two tablespoons of lemon juice. So after I've zested this lemon, I'm going to use a tool to get the juice out of the lemon. And I get, we could call this a juicer. And if you don't have that, you can just use the tines of a fork and it will juice the lemon equally well. So if you've noticed, I've pretty much completed the cycle of zesting this lemon. You can see where just basically the yellow, the top layer has been taken off. That is all you need. And lemon zest can be added to a host of recipes. So don't think that this microplane only has uh, the simple use. Every now and then I come across a recipe that requires the zest of an orange. This will come in equally handy for zesting an orange. So that's pretty much most of the zest that this particular lemon has to offer. You see it has gathered here inside the microplane. You just knock it into your bowl and then you're just going to set it aside. Now I'm just going to juice the recently zested lemon. I'm going to start by cutting it in half. One part of this is for limes and one part of it is for lemons. I think it just basically depends on the size. This is a small lemon, so I'm going to put it right in here. And notice that I have the narrow part at the top. Very simply, squeeze it. And 
then I'm just going to go ahead and juice the other one. Simple, easy. And now your recipe has the benefit of fresh lemon juice and fresh lemon zest. So let's get to it. To begin this recipe, I am now preheating the oven to 350. And I have a 12 well muffin pan and I'm using muffin liners. And I have here 168 grams of almond flour. I have 100 grams of granulated erythritol. I have, as you know, the zest of one lemon and I have two tablespoons of lemon juice. I have one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, two large eggs, a quarter of a cup of sour cream, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and I have a half a cup of fresh blueberries. And I'm going to use my cookie scooper because these muffins are a little bit smaller than the ones I usually make. So I'm going to start by whisking together the almond flour, the erythritol, the baking powder, the baking soda, and the salt. I'm just going to whisk these together to get them evenly distributed in the mix. If you have a mixer, you can also use that. Next, I'm going to mix together my wet ingredients. To this bowl, I'm going to add in my two eggs. Give them a little whisk. Next, I'm going to add in the sour cream. To this, I'm going to add in the lemon juice. And I'm going to add in the lemon zest. I'm just going to Scrape that out because I want all of the lemony goodness. Next, I'm going to add the liquid ingredient into the dry. Smells delicious. Very fresh fresh squeezed lemons. And I'm just going to mix this together. It feels a little stiff, so I'm just going to add in a little splash of buttermilk. Here you scrape everything up from the bottom. Next, I'm just going to fold in the blueberries.
prepared muffin pan. And maybe I'll get, start with one scoop. And I want them equally measured. And I'll come back and divide whatever is left among the rest. So I am going to place these in my preheated oven of 350 and they will cook for about 25 to 30 minutes. I'll check them at 25 and see what's going on. I'll meet you back here. Muffins are fresh and hot from the oven. Uh, at this color, it took about 23 minutes. So the next time I would only do them at 20 minutes. But the best part is going to be when they cool off and I get to break them open and see what the crumb looks like. I'll see you back here. This muffin is nice and airy. I changed the composition of the baking powder by using one and a half teaspoons and then adding in a half a teaspoon of baking soda. It's not gummy. It's not dry. It's actually perfect and it's very lemony. It has just enough blueberries and just in doing the taste test, I've eaten the whole thing. Bon appetit.